the crankcase heater. What is a crankcase heater? Why is it sometimes put on air conditioners or heat pumps? Well, here's a, a strap-on type. This one kind of goes together like that with this little uh, clamp on it. And these parts here uh, are in contact with the compressor. I'll show you one on a compressor here in a minute. And they transfer the heat from this small heating element in the crankcase heater to uh, the compressor to warm the compressor. Now let's take a look at one that's installed. It's right there, it's the same type as you're seeing on the bench. It's actually strapped around the compressor towards the bottom. So, why is it put where it is? It should be at about the oil level of the compressor. And it's going to warm the oil in the compressor. So why do we care? Does the oil not work well at low temperatures or what? Well, actually, that has nothing to do with it. What we're looking at here is something to keep refrigerant out of the compressor. Refrigerants go where the coldest temperatures are and they have an affinity for oil. Both of those are in the bottom of this. If this is cold, it's outside, this is a heat pump. Uh, they do it for air conditioners too sometimes, but heat pumps it's more common. If the compressor gets cold, it's going to draw refrigerant into it. Okay, what's wrong with having refrigerant drawn to the compressor? Now this is in the off cycle, not when it's not running, because it warms up when it's running. When refrigerant is brought into the compressor, and this is on the low side, this is a can side of the, of the compressor, it mixes with the oil. When it mixes with the oil, it dilutes the oil. It's kind of like pouring solvent into motor oil. If you put solvent into motor oil, it thins it out and it loses a lot of its uh, ability to lubricate. I have seen these compressors that have been off, the power has been turned off to them, and when I took the refrigerant out, the refrigerant was right up here. The, uh, the oil and refrigerant mix was right up there. It actually almost filled the compressor full of a mixture of refrigerant and oil. That is really thin and it's not going to lubricate well. There's another problem with getting refrigerant into the oil. If you start the compressor, it's immediately going to foam up it's going to boil the refrigerant out of the oil and it becomes a foam. When it does that, it also brings oil with it. Now, if you've any, seen of any of my uh, compressor videos where I've torn compressors apart, the entrance into the compressor is up here. It's high on the compressor because it doesn't want to get oil in it. The way it's designed, the motor is, is here and the compressor's down there, but the inlet for the compressor is way up here someplace. So what happens, that's, that's in order to avoid getting oil to come in the, into the compressor and possibly damage the compressor. As the refrigerant boils from the oil, it is going to make fill this whole thing full of foam and it's going to uh, enter oil because oil comes up with the foam into the inlet of the compressor and these piston compressors if you trap oil it's like any other liquid getting into that compressor it can break the rods break the pistons uh, so on so the the number of things that can happen are number one you lose uh, lubrication because you've thinned out the oil. Number two, you can slug the compressor and damage it. So we put these heaters on there just to keep it warm.